things. Stop getting hit by that. Right? We gotta just stop getting hit, period, here. So I can get the dragon ball. Yeah. Oh. Oof. 
Now I'm in some serious trouble. Bring it, baby. Lady. Well, it's a happy ending then. She did live. World saved. Curse is gone. It's snowing. Randomly. What's going on everybody? I just wanted to give you guys a little review on Ninja Gaiden 3. I had to cut the ending short because we all know how that works and we don't want to get in some trouble over YouTube and showing the ending of video games. So that's one of those unfortunate drawbacks of doing a complete playthrough. You can't show the ending either way, but you can show the rest of the game. Makes sense? Not really to me, but it is what it is. And uh, like I said, it's one of those unfortunate things. So I really enjoyed the game. Um, it Unfortunately, um, it's one of those things where I, could, I noticed that they really, really... Uh, I don't want to say dumbed it down, but they made it a lot easier uh, for the casual experience compared to, say, like Ninja Gaiden Sigma and Ninja Gaiden Black and all that other stuff. Those games were ridiculously hard, and they kind of draw it back to kind of appeal to a more casual audience, and it really, really showed, unfortunately, uh, from my standpoint, because I like difficulty, I like difficult games, and from my standpoint, it was like one of those unfortunate things about the game. Um, the story played out really well, except for the village part where we kind of went back to our village and played it out there it didn't make any sense whatsoever for that to be in the story from my standpoint i was looking at it i'm like where did this even come from the boss battle didn't make any sense none of it really made any sense and then boom we're back on the ship and it's like it never happened so that kind of was like an afterthought to me like they almost threw it in just to prolong the game just a little bit to get maybe an extra hour worth of gameplay and it was really weird i don't know what you guys thought about it that have played it through but that was really odd. But as usual, you know, the, the, this uh, Ninja Gaiden series is plagued by bad, bad camera angles. And they be, they have to be well aware of it. It's been one on the bad end of the review on every single game that they brought out. They just have bad camera angles when it comes to this game for some reason. So if they do come out with a Ninja Gaiden 4 or Ninja Gaiden Red or Yellow or whatever you want to call it next, hopefully they, they can kind of draw in that camera angle and get it a lot better because there are a ton of games out there that use the same sort of camera. Um action and it's they're not even nearly as bad as what this thing is so i don't understand why they can't fix that uh graphics are great gameplay was great uh except for the the bad camera angle and overall i would give this game about a seven i don't think i'd go any higher um just for those reasons but that's what i got for the review of this game i enjoyed the playthrough of it i wish they would have made it a little bit uh dif more difficult and kind of stayed with where the series was instead of trying to appeal to the masses like many many games have and many many games have failed at doing so and have failed because of doing so so it's one of those things they, there's a fine line you got to play there and they kind of went over the line too much so i'd give it no more than a seven on this game is, is it worth a pickup um 
Well, now that it's not 60 bucks, I would say if you can get it for a $20 buy, yeah, I'd pick it up and, and play it through. Or maybe just uh, if you have a Gamefly account, go ahead and rent it. It's good for about six, seven hours of gameplay. And then send it on back and just have a good time with it. So that's my review for Ninja Gaiden 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. And there's going to be more coming. And I like to throw a review on the end of all these. So keep your heads up. Have a great day. Peace. What's up, everybody? I just want to let you guys know you can check out my Tales of Grace's F playthrough over on Tour de Force. Also, if you guys missed my last couple episodes of my Ninja Gaiden playthrough here, I'm going to put a link up there for you guys as well. Hit my playlist up on my channel. If you like what you guys see, hit that subscribe button. Check me out over on Justin TV, Facebook, and Twitter. Go over and check out Viso Gamer and Vidthrough's pages as well. I hope to see you guys there soon. As always, keep your heads up. Have a great day. Peace.